This video starts off with Junior asking his friends the typical question of what they want to do today, but they're kind of sick of it, and it is getting a bit tiring that Junior just says, So guys, what do you want to do today? So he says something more fancy. Jeffy then reveals that he stole Marvin's credit card. When Cody says that's immoral, Jeffy points out that when Marvin dies one day, he's going to inherit that credit card. I'm pretty sure that's not how a credit card works, even Cody points it out, but it doesn't matter because they used the credit card to buy a skee-ball game. Cody and Jeffy then play the skee-ball game, but because they don't know how to actually play it, they end up breaking the game. Thus, Junior and Joseph never actually got to play with it. So they get a new game involving hunky men with balls, and Joseph points out that there's a lot of segregation, and they get into an argument about who's better, white people or black people. I mean, my bet's personally on the white people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just offended someone who goes on Twitter every day. Well, at least their lives don't matter, am I right, guys? Dark sense of humor aside, they don't really know how to play this game either. Well, except for Cody, maybe. He just found a new way to play. So, Junior suggests that they play with something else. So, Jeffy buys a giant ball pit, because why not? It actually looks pretty fun. I want to go there myself. Just like a mermaid, Jeffy dives down into the ball pit, and the others follow suit. But when they get down there, they get trapped inside of an air pocket. And I gotta say, do air pockets exist in ball pits? Because... I don't know if they do, but either way, they get trapped down there with no way out. Meanwhile, Marvin is looking for Jeffy and his credit card, and then sees all the stuff that Jeffy has bought and concluded that Jeffy stole his credit card. He gets a call from Goodman explaining to him that he has exceeded his credit card limit, getting Marvin in a lot of trouble, but Marvin says that he's going to return the stuff so he can get the money back. So he has to look for Jeffy to see if he still has the receipt to return said stuff. He goes to the ball pit to search for Jeffy. Little does he know, the guys are underneath it can actually hear him rustling. And although Jeffy objects to Marvin finding them because he doesn't want to get in trouble, they still yell for help anyways. Unfortunately, Marvin can't hear them. He thinks Jeffy is actually hiding from him on purpose, so he decides to call the cops because since Jeffy is 18, he can be charged for credit card fraud. Little does he know, this is actually helping the characters. Oh, dramatic irony. But they better hurry quick because the characters are getting hot in there and they're starting to think of um, repopulating down there. The police eventually arrive and Marvin tries to explain the situation, but because of his poor communication skills, he's not able to articulate well exactly what he's talking about and it actually confuses the cops for a bit. Eventually, they do understand the situation that's going on, and Brooklyn Guy recalls a time that he was once a victim of credit card fraud. This segues into an animated flashback where Brooklyn Guy is working at the hospital, and he decides to buy some Cheez-Its on his break, when he notices that there was a guy with binoculars looking at him, writing down something on a note. His intuition leads him to think that he's part of some Cheez-It contest where if he buys the most Cheez-Its, he wins. So he tells the Indian guy his personal information and then gets back home with a bunch of Cheez-Its. However, he then gets a call from his bank telling him that he has exceeded all of his credit card limits. Yeah, pretty much he got scammed. He also has PTSD for people with binoculars. What does this have to do with the main story? Absolutely nothing. It was a tangent that was there to fill in the runtime. But then the characters remember that there's a plot, so Simmons goes down into the ball pit to rescue the characters. Just when the characters think that all hope is lost, Simmons appears as a guardian angel to save them, and Jeffy looks kind of dead here. Simmons then tugs on the rope to signal the others from the outside to pull him and the kids out, rescuing everyone, but then Marvin immediately wants Jeffy to give him any receipts that he still has. But Jeffy already destroyed the receipts, and Marvin hits him. At least Jeffy admits this time that he probably deserved it. Then Brooklyn Guy asks for Outhouse. So, overall, this video was fairly entertaining, but at the same time, it was pretty mid. It was doing fairly well up until the part where Marvin called the cops and Brooklyn Guy went on that tangent with the credit card. It served no purpose into the plot whatsoever and it was just there to fill in the runtime. In fact, I would say that as soon as the characters remember that there was a conflict in the plot, it gets solved rather quickly with the characters just going in there and pulling the children out of the ball pit. I wish there would have been more time spent with inside the ball pit to see how the characters would go insane. I feel like that would have been a lot funnier. But I guess if they did do that, I think Logan would have been criticized for reusing the plot of Junior getting stuck inside the couch. Anybody remember that video? It was a, a few years back. But the point is, it feels like this video fell apart as soon as the Nintendo animation came along. No, no. No, 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 no. Don't you start with me. You dare start with me? No, don't you- <laughs>
My god, you're annoying. Jeff Dominus! Animation takes a long time to perfect. It's not that simple. It's very hard to do. So of course Nintendo is not going to have the best animation in the world when Logan needs to upload two videos a week and he needs something done and fast. Of course it's not going to be Pixar Disney level quality. Shut up and say something positive for these videos. You're going to suffer the wrath of Gru? Yeah, it's like, oh my god, you are so annoying. Zilla, Gru, I got this. Okay, yes, Jeremy, I understand that animation isn't easy, and as someone who's worked with animation before, I can tell you this, it is very difficult to make an animation look good on such a short period of time. But, here's the thing, I'm not making fun of Nintendo, I'm not being a meanie to him, I'm simply criticizing the animation, not because it may benefit Nintendo, but just so everybody else can understand why I have a problem with it, and maybe they themselves can take that advice, who knows. And it's not even the animation that pisses me off, it's the fact that it's filler. I mean, did we really need 3 minutes of Brooklyn guy explaining how he got his credit card information stolen? Did we really needed that? It's funny, that's why it was needed! And you know what, Nintendo's animation wasn't even that bad, it was passable for what it is. I mean, yeah, it's not Disney quality animation and it is rough around the edges, but when compared to his previous animations, his old animations, it's way better, the characters are much more expressive, there's more details in the background, there's more animation, it's not just traced out versions of the characters with black holes opening to signify that they're talking, no, there's actual expression, there's actual style to it basically, so it's not even bad, it's... Okay, it's not the best thing in the world, it's not perfect, but it is passable, and I can understand this animation. There, I took care of him for you. Um, um, thank you. Don't thank me, he was just annoying. Yep, that we can agree on. I'm sorry about the random Jeremy intermission, I mean, he sometimes shows up when he gets offended. I mean, you know these fanboys, you should see how he defends Disney sometimes, but um, <clears throat> anyways, overall, yeah, the animation wasn't exactly bad, it was definitely a lot better than Nintendo's older animations, but it still kind of ruined the video for me. It was a very favorable video, the jokes landed pretty well, it was just the filler that kind of ruined it for me and took me out of the video. If I were to give this a rating, I'd give it a 3 star rating. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.